Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. We're on code.org, Unit 5, Lesson 3, Project 10. The instructions tell us this program creates two lists. It tells us that we're going to use the remove item and the insert item commands to fix the following problems. Remove all numbers from the animal list and add all missing months to the months list in their correct position. And then it reminds us that indexes start at zero. Let's go in and run this before we begin so that we can see what prints to the console. In the animals list, right up here, we can see we have some animals, but then we can see numbers like 11 and 13. Let's go in and reset this here. In order to remove these numbers, what we're going to go ahead and use is the remove item. And we're going to drop that below the comment. We'll go ahead and type in animals because that's the variable that has our list. As we're looking through this above our comment, we can see that there already is one remove item. And that could throw us off if we're not careful because when it does this, 0, 1, 2 is removed. So when we run this next remove item, this number isn't there anymore. And so really it's 0, 1, two, three, four, five. If you're not careful, you'll count this as six, and that's not the index position that we need. So let's go ahead and put in five here. And then as we look through our list, we can see we have another number to remove. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and drop that below the remove item that we just added. We're gonna do animals again. And let's count again, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is now going to be in the eighth index position. Let's go in and click run to see if it removes the numbers in the console. And as I look through, all of the numbers have been removed. But we're not done with this project. Down below, it tells us that we need to insert the months of September and November in their correct positions for this list that's just above. In our original list, we can see that April was not included, but they decided to use the insert items to add the month of April in that third index spot. Now we need to add September and November, and because they inserted this item, we have to remember that when we're looking through this list. So let's go ahead and drag this below the comment. Our list is going to be called months. Where do we want to insert this month? Zero, one, two. The third one is April because it's been added. Four, five, six, seven. The eighth position is going to be what we're adding in September. Let's go ahead and add that. And we need to add one more. So let's go ahead and drag that over underneath what we just did. Months is our list. Let's go ahead and count again. Zero, one, two, three is April, four, five, six, seven, eight is September, nine, ten is where we're going to go ahead and insert November. And let's run the program. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Using these two features within our toolbox, it's not difficult. The part that's tricky is remembering the index spots. For example, that counting starts at zero. And then if you add items or subtract items, you need to account for that as you look through visually at the program. If not, that could cause you problems. When you're done, go ahead and click finish. Mm -hmm.